What's up YouTube? This is the You Can Sew by Clockwork, a handheld fantasy computer which allows you to unlock the world of a Raspberry Pi in a portable but functional design. It comes with a full 74 key backlit keyboard, a 5 inch 720 IPS screen, and a Raspberry Pi as the core module to power this fantasy computer. Today we're going to dive into exploring if the Clockwork You Can Sew was worth the one year wait. This is the unboxing gadget. Let's dive in and explore. Let's get it. All right, so here it is, the clockwork you can sew. Now, I waited a long time for this thing. So long, I forgot I even ordered it. But after months of patiently waiting, I have the you can sew. Now, before we dive in, let's do a quick refresh on how this thing came about. So the you can sew was designed by a small team of seven called Clockwork, which also are designers of a game show, which is another module gaming device that I need to get my hands on. But either way, now, if we go to their page, they also mention the why for Clockwork, which is pretty cool to help round out where the product idea came from. So they say a physical gear based device, such as the internal workings of an analog clock, which is a pretty cool concept. You know, their main focus is to reinterpretate retro devices kind of in like a cyberpunk type of way. And honestly, the you can so definitely looks like a cyberpunk type of device. So it kind of lines up to what they're saying. Now, in addition, if we scroll through their website, we can see two other devices besides the you can so. I mentioned the game cell and they also have the dev term. Now I would love to get my hands on the dev term as it looks like a typewriter in the future, but you know, the wait times are kind of scaring me a little bit from the you can sew. Now I do want to preface this by saying on the you can sew page, there are two options, one with Wi-Fi and one with Wi-Fi plus 4G. Now I have the Wi-Fi plus 4G one, but I've heard if you order the Wi-Fi one, shipping might be a little bit quicker. So take that with you as you know, grain of salt, whatever, but I've heard if you order just the Wi-Fi one, you might get the you can sew quicker. All right, so before I move on to the schematics and the block diagram, I do want to address the elephant in the room on why I have three of the same type of devices and probably gonna have more in the future. So if you've seen some of my older videos, it's pretty obvious I have a thing for hack barriers and cyber tech. Um, at this point, I've accumulated a lot of them. So it's kind of a hobby for me. Now, do I use all these devices every day? No. Is one better than the other? Maybe. Do you need to have each device? No. So each Raspberry Pi device has their own unique purpose for me. And it's kind of up to you to decide which one fits you. Now, you can watch some of my videos and decide which one fits you best, but like I said, it's, it's not a necessity to have all three devices or anything like that. So, with that being said, let's move on to the schematics of the Yukon Soul. So, the Yukon Soul is ran with the Raspberry Pi CM4, which is also paired with a 3.14 CPI expansion card that allows for the CM4 to be enhanced with different I.O. ports. Now, if we quickly take a look at the CPI schematics, we can see all the different enhancements, from power to audio, Wi-Fi to display and of course the extra USB ports. Now to me, the Yukon Soul is one of the most expensive cyber decks currently out, especially if you opt for the Wi-Fi and 4G. Now of course we talked about the CM4 core module, which in my opinion is that trusty quad core ARM Cortex A72 processor, which operates to me kind of like at a 6.5, 7 out of 10 for getting things done. It does lag a little bit on certain things, but you can run pretty good things like emulator, you know, word processing, some scripts, coding, stuff like that works pretty smooth. Now, at this point, this board has been around for a while, so I do plan on upgrading to the CM5 in the near future. And additionally, of course, we have the 725 inch screen, which operates perfectly for indoors and outdoor use. Now, the other star to show is that 74 backlit keyboard, which honestly I love. It gives me plenty of typing room to get things done. However, I do see the keys fading in the near future as some of my keys are already fading on some of the letters. And lastly, we have that battery module, which is kind of an interesting choice. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this 18650 battery, but it gets the job done. Just make sure to get your batteries from a reputable source, as some of these batteries can cause harm. Okay, so let's move on to the OS. Now, luckily, Clockwork includes a custom OS called Clockwork OS, which is a nice flavor for the device. However, in this instance, I'll be installing RetroPie on the Clockwork. And fortunately, RetroPie doesn't just work on the device. But luckily for us, there's a great guy named Rex on the Clockwork forums, which makes this possible for the Yukon Soul. Now, installing RetroPie is not as straightforward as you think, like I said. So since Yukon Soul requires a dedicated image, in order to fuse RetroPie and Raspberry Pi, you need to flash a dedicated distro to get RetroPie working. So the distro we're going to use is RetroPie on Bookworm. Now I'm on 6.635, now the version might differ, but Rex made this possible and huge shout out to him and he allows us to download these through links he has on his forum page. Now I'll make sure to include the links in the description 
So once you get that downloaded, we need to get things set up. So let's go ahead and navigate to the Raspberry Pi imager. So for your device, make sure you select Raspberry Pi 4, which is the one I'm currently on. And then for your custom OS, make sure to select the image we just downloaded for the Bookworm 6.635, whichever version. Now, once you have that, everything should be good to go. But make sure on the final screen, you apply no custom settings. Because I did have some issues applying custom settings and it didn't quite work with the Bookworm and RetroPie on my you can sell device so just make sure you click no for that option okay so at this point you should be pretty smooth selling with having RetroPie set up on the you can sell now you do need to make sure your roms are added to the RetroPie slash roms folder in order for the game to show up on the device okay so before we wrap it up now that i have the you can sell was it worth the one year wait and honestly no and here are some reasons why the number one reason is there's other websites I can order this you can sell from to get it quicker. Um, there's some sellers on AliExpress and some other websites that allow you to get the device a lot quicker. Now granted, the price is a little more expensive, but you know, that's trade offs. Number two, the size of this device is pretty big. Compared to some of the other Hackberry CyberDate like devices, this thing is pretty massive. So it's not one of the devices you would lug around with you in your pocket or anything like that. So. Number two was size. All right, so number three. Now the console still comes with the CM4 core module. Now I do wish at this point in 2025, they allowed you to have the option of upgrading to the CM5. I think that would help with, you know, making the device just a little bit better, especially with the wait times on their website. So that's number three. And lastly, I wanna say, to me, this is still one of the coolest cyberdecks. But if you have to wait a year on their website, I can't say I recommend it. All right, so there it is. The you can sold by Clockwork, a great device for developers, tinkerers, anybody who loves gadgets. I think it has a really awesome modular design, and to me, it's one of the coolest Cyberdex out in the market. It's kind of compact and portable. It's not the smallest device out, but it can get the job done. That full QWERTY keyboard really helps with typing and ease. Now, the CM4 processor is still to be determined. It, it, it gets the job done, but it would have really knocked it out the park with that CM5. And the expandability. I think this is one of the most expandable devices out right now with the USB-C, the cellular, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth. You, you can expand this thing to add anything you want, which is awesome. So all in all, do I recommend that you can sell? Yes, but only if the timeline for getting it is a lot quicker. Either way, this was the Unboxing Gadget. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.